All right, Kev, uh, PJ Carlesimo joining us. Kev, call Russ closer. Um, is there anyone in the league better at that than Russell Westbrook? Statistically, yes. He also, you guys also referenced the one-man show, and that's what it is in Oklahoma. Kid that dominates the game on the glass from the backcourt. Russell does that. Offense. side of this matchup because the Pelicans now 0-3 since acquiring Boogie Cousins. When you look at what's going on there in New Orleans right now, what's the issue? Well, the, I think there's a couple issues, Jay, but the two are Detroit and San Antonio. It's going to take them time, and they don't have time. Now, you've got a little bit more than 20 games left, and they want to be in the playoffs. So uh, it's a work in progress. It's not going to be easy fitting them together. I think Alvin Gentry will make the best of it. But uh, they got a challenge on their hands. Yeah, Cousins said, saying that they're still kind of filling themselves out. Oh, but, without uh, question. Jay was relaxing during that. During that. Oh, he said relax. So. Yeah, relax. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's just three Jay's games. Uh, <laughs> it's three games. Yeah. You know what I mean? Jay's relaxed. So. Really? No worries. No. He's just going to be back at 9 a.m. Thanks so much, Randy. <laughs> Eight minutes, Rob Gronkowski sat down with our carry champion and talked about why Commissioner Roger Goodell won't be able to land a plane in New England. At 845 Eastern, Marty Smith sat down with Tim Tebow to discuss Tebow turning his baseball belief into reality. And at 910, Villanova's men's basketball head coach, Jay Wright, is live in studio to talk about defending the national title and suits, obviously, as Sports Center AM rolls on. I feel pretty inferior when Coach Wright comes in. <laughs> you know, All of us. You know what's great? Our, our producer, Mark Eisman, told us Friday, goes, wear your best suit on Monday. Didn't tell me. <laughs> oh, no, why? Didn't tell me that, but this is probably the one. Uh, did any of you stay up for the Oscars? For all of it, all of the Oscars? No. Uh, no. no. But, I, I woke up and it was still on. And yeah. I was like, hey. <laughs> and not, not the powder so Cole Brown and Ron Goldman. And... I mean, I have to agree. I was mesmerized watching that. Did not feel like eight hours or however long it was. It was pretty awesome. It was really awesome. Yeah. Uh, it's the first time ESPN's ever uh, won mm -hmm. uh, an Oscar. Mm -hmm. um, and congrats to Ezra and Carolyn, as well as uh, Connor and Libby. Just it, it, 30 for 30. We all know about that franchise. It's fantastic ESPN films. Now we get to figure out who gets to keep it. I want, like, the third week in August to the Oscar <laughs> at my house. <laughs> home, right? yeah. you, you had a lot right. to do with that. Right? <laughs> just take it, Jay. I watched. Okay, he's just taking credit for it. All right, pretty cool night for ESPN at the Oscars. Yes, O.J. Made in America, best documentary feature. Adnan Verk there in a big moment uh, for the end of the night. We showed you that at the top of the show. We're going to keep that going. Right, exactly. So here on SportsCenter AM, we thought it would be timely, right, to give out our own awards for best performance. For Serena Morales. <laughs> we go from a not top play to the top night in Hollywood. Of course, the Oscars. Yep. One fan making the most of his opportunity. Gary from Chicago. He went from being on a tour bus in Los Angeles to walking onto the front stage of the Academy Awards. And he I didn't, like, we didn't get to see you during that, Reed. That's true. Yeah, that's, not, that's not fair. That's well, not fair at all. Because nobody... Because the, like, the picture was a little different for me. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the right guy? Okay. Do we have the right guy? The winner is... The winner is... We have an envelope? Uh, Kevin Nagandi. Kevin, Kevin Nagandi. Kevin Nagandi. Kevin Nagandi. For best Wait. highlight read. Yes, oh, best wow. Best I think highlight that was a I think that was a mistake. I think that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> because I would give it to you. The real winner. Uh, acceptance uh, speech. Uh, you have an acceptance speech. speech. Uh, I wouldn't, he pulls I wouldn't out have done this without... I don't know. I'm told, um, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Uh -oh. Yes. Balake? Yeah, it yes. is. It's actually, it is actually. It's actually Jay. Jay Harris. Here you go. Exactly. Yes. Have an acceptance oh. speech oh, okay. right here on this Thank you. side yes. pad. Yes, I'd like to let everybody know that Jay Harris <laughs> won the best highlight read. I'm going to let you finish. Did we do best recreation of what happened last night? We, this is my that? pocket square I borrowed. Like, also very tough. with Serena Morales. Uh, mm. My wife and I didn't really get into the gender reveal thing. Uh, some folks get a cake with the blue or the pink frosting or the inside of the cake, but it, it would it, it would have been tough to top what this man did. Would, it would have. I'd say that's because you're not a professional golfer like Dustin Johnson. Uh, you've both been enjoying the sunshine, right? The past couple of weeks you took in spring training in Florida. Oh. He just won the Genesis Open in L.A., and he just happens to... Everybody also talking about the best picture announcement mix-up at the end of the Academy Awards. Well, we just rolled through the best calls in sports history. Adnan Verk enters his name into that list. <laughs> One of the first to realize what was happening on Oscars.com. If you know him, you know how exciting that must have been for the self-proclaimed cinephile. And Adnan on the spot. What a wild moment. Yes, it was crazy. How does that happen? Again. How does that happen? 
again. In 2017. Like, blowing a 3 1 lead. It's <laughs> it like honestly like, like it's, it's the theme, right? It's like the Cubs coming back. Like, yeah. Steve Harvey's a trendsetter, it's really. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He, had a great, he had a great tweet this morning, by the way. Did he? He said, What happened? I was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> like, Warren Beatty, call me. I help you get out of this. <laughs> hey, we are done.